This video is about triads and inversions. We know that triads have three notes in them, hence the name triads. We think about a root position triad as starting with its bottom note, C, its middle note, E, its top note, G. So there's your C triad in root position. Three notes with the root on the bottom. But we can switch the order of those notes around. We can pop the C up on to the top. Same three notes, haven't taken any out, haven't added any in, only changed the order. And then we can pop the E on top. So same three notes, haven't taken any out, haven't added any in, just changed the order. We're going to look at what that looks like on the staff. Here you see the C major chord on the staff and on the keyboard. The C major chord in green is in root position with the notes evenly spaced. The first inversion is in red and you see that there's a wider space between the second and third notes than there is between the first and second notes. In second inversion, where the root is actually in the middle, you can see in this purple chord that there's a wider space between the first and the second notes of the chord. If you were going to talk about these chords as figured bass, you would call the root position 5-3 because there is a fifth and third above the bottom note. You would call the first inversion 6-3 because there's a sixth and third above the bottom note. You would call the second inversion 6-4 because there's a sixth and a fourth above the bottom note. Remember this applies for minor or major triads. Here is the sound of a C major triad in root position. Here is the sound of a C major triad in first inversion. Here is the sound of a C major triad in second inversion. Composers choose those different inversions for a variety of reasons. But if you ever hear someone play a lot of inversions, especially with the pedal down, you'll realize it's a very grand effect.